Um, I, I want to start off by thanking the chair of our uh, general government subcommittee uh, for making what I consider a uh, potentially bad budget a little bit better. Um, so I really appreciated working with him and I look forward to working in the future together on this particular subject uh, because it is so important. But, um, but this, this uh, budget that's presented to us today, in my opinion, is still riddled with uh, a lot of problems. Um, when we talk about, uh, from, from it, we're, we're dealing with uh, failing to properly support our business attraction and community revitalization programs. Uh, we're not adequately funding our IT systems. Uh, and then we come into the, the part of micromanaging the Attorney General's office in really unprecedented ways. Uh, to, uh, revenue sharing is not what it's supposed to be. Um, and what I want to talk a little bit more about revenue sharing is that, you know, this is the money that goes back into our local municipalities that the state government promised years ago um, in order to, for the local governments to be able to operate and provide the services that they're expected to provide by our citizens. And I want to give an example of uh, what I mean by this and, and the detrimental effects that it has. You know, in, in my district, the 92nd district, um, over a recent 15-year period, my district was shorted in revenue sharing $32 million. I mean, this is money that was vital to the communities in order for them to provide those services we talked about in, in, in uh, uh, hiring police officers and firefighters and taking care of our parks and sidewalks and all those types of things. And we're, we're not doing our job when it comes to that. And we're, we're down uh, from, from several years ago, 20 years ago, um, our, our municipalities across the state of Michigan, are, we're dealing with thousands of less police officers on the streets, but yet we want to celebrate when we have a, 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 a state police budget that, that hires, uh, say, 100 uh, police officers for the street. That's just not right. So and, and those are the things that we need to do. Now, granted, there is money there, but it's, it's just simply not enough. We need to do a better job. Um, but then we go on to uh, making the cuts in IT. Uh, you know, we're, we were spared the, the severe cuts that we had uh, proposed, the 25% across the board, but, uh, but there, in this budget still has cuts to IT, which is just, in my opinion, is totally unacceptable. Um, at a time when we should really be investing more in IT services um, to make sure that our systems are here, we're not doing that. We're going the other way. Um, and in today's world, I think many of our business, many in the business community realize the need for IT and for efficient IT, and they're investing more and more. We're doing the opposite. We're going the other way. That doesn't make sense to me. Um, but then, uh, one another thing that just doesn't really make much sense is uh, when we disinvest in our, in our, uh, our business um, incentive programs, uh, at a time when we're really trying to grow our economy, um, we're decided to go in the other direction and cut those dollars that go to that. So, you know, really when we, when we look at all this stuff and put it all together, I think it just gives a glaring report of where we are as a state. And that is, is that we simply don't have the revenue that we need to have in order to, to not only take care of our state services and programs, but also to operate and properly fund our local municipalities. It's a, the revenue issue is a glaring need and we can all have to avoid it and not believe it if we choose. But it, this, is, this budget, I think, is a perfect example and it shows where we, where we have that need at and that lack of revenue. So, Mr. Speaker, um, I want to encourage my colleagues here today to vote no on this budget and let's get back to work and try to find ways to properly fund our local units of government and as well as our state government. Thank you.